I find it every day like a miracle. Like I breathe and it's like, wow, I came so far. A young community activist in the making, Lorenzo Liberti has been a teen on a mission for the past two years. We first met Lorenzo back in November. The Lakewood Ranch team says he was compelled to do something after volunteering at his local church and realizing how many veterans are homeless. Of course, I had a heart for, you know, our service, but I never really understood what service meant. Through his project, Heroic Flags, Lorenzo's goal has been to restore honor and help homeless veterans that have fallen on their luck and slipped through the system. Shocked to see the men and women who fought to protect this country having been forgotten, he embarked on a life-changing journey. Working from his garage, Lorenzo began making rustic American flags, honoring veterans. But amid the pandemic, he began to honor those battling on the front lines at hospitals against the war on COVID-19. These people are serving, especially during this COVID-19, just like our veterans do. You see these people behind scrubs in a mask, but you never really see their face. Not only that, you don't know them. You don't get to know the story. Lorenzo made it his goal to create these handmade wooden flags and send them out, placing a heroic flag in one hospital in every state, honoring his mother, Martha Liberti, and other frontline health care workers. I can't even explain. Words can't even explain how proud I am of him. Of his initial goal of raising $50,000 in donations, Lorenzo was able to raise and donate $30,000 to Turning Point's Yellow Ribbon Program, aimed to help end homelessness among the veterans' community. A cause this young teen says is his life calling. Every person has their own story. You really just have to sit down, open the book, and read it. Reporting in Bradenton, Alejandro Romero, SNN, the Sound Coast News Network. If a 15